Hey everyone, Cosmos here from Doll Games. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the two U Demons or Willpowers um, which are added in patch 7.0. The access for them is in the um, Willpower button over here. So the U Demons will still uh, will open your old um, or old or previous U Demons. Uh, but to access the new ones, you click on Willpower, and there are two two of them available right now: Void Emissary and Angel of Light. Uh, Void Emissary um, is a sort of a merge, or uh, we'll see in a moment, between two U Demons, which are Sacred Knight and Bell Oracle. Um, and you have to have them at level, at least level 10, so minimum level 10. And uh, it'll require 3000 memory crystals and 1000 demonic bloods um, to do the soul transfer. And then we have the Angel of Light, uh, we have um, who will require a Sanctuary Hunter or, and the Scourge Mage, uh, again minimum level 10. At the same uh, cost requirement for the items of 3000 Memory Crystals, 1000 Demonic Blood. Um, but there are also rules where, which I had seen somewhere here um, where um, you need to have more than one of the U demons. So just one bell oracle is not going to be um, allowed. You need to have two so that you can use one. And, and then um, as mentioned the level 10 is a minimum for the U demons uh, to use them. Um, then synthesizing willpower requires two demons uh, which meet the requirements that that's logical and uh, then the last two points have to do with uh, the inheritance of the equipment and the war emblem so he is going to take over uh, it seems and we're gonna see that uh, i haven't seen it myself so we're gonna see it here for the first time and um uh, and you're gonna get compensation for whatever um uh, it's not clear for which portion you're gonna get compensation, but part it's just part of the consumables uh, will be returned. And uh, the last point is on the willpower. Um, we'll get the training materials. So that is the uh, I guess the the war emblem uh, that has to do with the main and sub U demons. Uh, so the language is a little bit unclear. So when you click on plus, you get a list of what you have. And um, I think I only have one Sacred Knight, so we can check that. And I only have one um, Sanctuary Hunter. So what I can do is I can run... Oh no, I have a bunch of them. Oh, it was only one at level 10. So it's a good, uh, good way to test it. Uh, to see if the because it requires you to have minimum of two, but it was not clear if the second one has to be level 10 as well So let's let's check the first one with the sanctuary hunter for example um, This guy here is at level 12 uh, with basic equipment plus nines and um, the so-called merger uh, would happen with a scourge uh, mage and uh, This one is at level 9. So let's pump that up uh, What is that? Put in 6,000 there, and what's that? 50 or yeah, I think it's 50. There, so that makes a, a level 10 scourge and um, a level 10 sanctuary hunter. So let's try to sort of merge them. Oh, I didn't pay attention uh, to the scourge's state. So the scourge has no equipment, and uh, in terms of war emblem, has nothing and. Sanctuary Hunter has level 8 uh, War Emblem, no resistances, and level 8 uh, rest reduction. So let's see what's the result of using them. If I don't know the right word, but let's say level 12 Sanctuary Hunter and level 10. And then we do Soul Transfer. Cannot synthesize a Demon in combat. Who is in combat? Oh, Sanctuary Hunter is sitting as a sub Demon. Let's pop them out. Here we go. Congrats, you obtained a new willpower um, angel of light. So that this guy is available here um, and it's not visible, I believe, here in the Udemon list. It's um, also not uh, visible in the Udemon guide. So you can't call them Udemons then, I guess. 
um, their name is willpower which is a really weird thing um, but okay uh, so then we have a separate window willpower um, and then let's see if we can but we cannot uh, oh yeah we can equip it so there is the angel of light so it does act like a U-Demon, but it is in a separate system there. It's a nice looking um, U-Demon. Let me um, go, go to like a smaller mount so that we can see it better. All right, so um, a nice looking willpower <laughs> U-Demon. And um, let's go into his window now. So uh, bell rating will uh, probably be the same logic like it's inherited. So for example, this character has 23, 24 uh, mil and uh, he has uh, about 15 mil bell rating. So when we saw the equipment, so he took over what then the best equipment of the two U demons. That's what I understand it. And then um, that means that if the second U-Demon had worse equipment, perhaps that would be compensated. And uh, here's a summary for his um, war willpower emblem. So a um, bunch of stats, willpower resistance and res reduction. So uh, emblem of the Sanctuary Hunter was 8 um, and for the willpower that translated to 5 and the res reduction was 8 and here somehow became nine so i'm not seeing immediately the logic uh, of it uh, you can still continue to upgrade it so let's do that uh, let's pump him up uh, 500 to level him to the next one so that's seven and uh, this is an interesting question because this is not a demon. then um, it's not clear if then the um, blood of Zeus spent here if that would work on Udemon events so that's something to be clarified by by the Wurchin companies I don't know if they will clarify though so we'll see all right so the upgrade we saw skills we have arrow strike so that's uh, uh, multi-shot bloodthirsty deep freeze and uh, they seem they seem to be carried over from the sanctuary hunter and then he has the skills from the um scourge mage and uh, supposedly together they because you cannot select these and you cannot select these so then um they somehow add up together and uh, they make his specific merged skills let's call them so um deals 380% damage um, and that's physical to um, enemy deals 300% um, to lowest uh, health enemy deals 344 and these are already at level 8 bear in mind so probably um, everybody will start at lower level because uh, my sanctuary hunter was maxed out so these are um, all maxed out skills um, but still, uh, so 344 uh, to the lowest enemy and increase crit rate, uh, attack twice to deal 350%, increase crit rate, um, increase crit rate by 31% for two turns, um, and uh, then this so-called Delphic, I guess. Um, oh no, he doesn't have, actually that's the, the first observation here. Um, on the act, the I didn't pay attention. So the skills are divided into tabs. So these are on active skills, and this one is 400%. Uh, um, and again, crit rate increase. And then you have the Delphic tab with the Delphic skill. So the two merge into deals 404% uh, AOE, and again, increasing um, crit rate. And this one is um, dealing. 476 percent to two to four um, enemies and again increasing crit rate so you can you get the idea of this you demon it's a physical attack you demon um, ideally against the one enemy target he doesn't really have much aoe uh, so it's a single um, uh, single attack um, uh, so-called you demon willpower uh, which increases its crit rate. So it's a damage a single one-on-one uh, -on -one damage dealer. That's what it is one-on-one -on -one damage dealer. So let's look at his passives His passives include 
and they already get auto equipped so this ones you don't have to select the other skills you have to sort of equip um, and this is weird because there are five taps for two Delphics, but anyways. Um, for passive skills, so he'll have increased uh, player rage by 90. Oh no, the passive and... Uh, oh, I see what they have done. So um, there's the passives and the generals. So the, the passives, uh, they come over here. Last straw, so following a crit increases damage dealt by 16%. So that's significant because he had a bunch of skills which increase his crit rate. So and once he crits, um, he gets further damage increase. So um, that's pretty significant. And then crit damage, plus 110%. So really a very strong one, one versus one uh, damage dealer. And then um, the general skills, so the rage increase, um, awakening points, drop, chaos resistance, and um, these didn't change. So that's um, the skill. Let's go to his experience wheel. So here, um, consume wheel gear to increase um, further the various skills. So here we have <coughs> a rest reduction, a fire resistance, a water resistance. Um, electro, wind, dark, and light. So then uh, you don't have any more choice of choosing resistance, um, but it'll, um, I guess, do on all. Um, and here it says plus one, plus five, plus ten, plus fifteen. So he will be um, much stronger on light resist because I guess this is a light uh, Udemon willpower. And then he will be decent um, on uh, resisting dark and wind uh, and then wind is already plus 15 with electro and then we have water that's what I understand uh, at the first glance and then you have the willpower shield which is a passive reduces damage uh, that he receives by 1% and it unlocks at uh, level 10 of this wheel and then it levels up every 10 levels so let's see if I can spin but I don't have any wheel gear so we'll have to get back to that later but you get the idea of it uh, you just click um, and it'll increase the experience so you see 0 out of 10 a 0 out of 10 so the, as the experience fills up the bubble will get more levels so that's uh, that way you will increase your res reduction and that's going to be the hardest one to increase because you see you only get plus one experience for that so that's uh, the X will then talents we have a uh, res reduction um, next level uh, is plus 10 and then probably plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so that's uh, it's sort of like knighthood talents but for the willpower for fire resist water resist so uh, probably up to 100% um, increase and uh, I do have some talent stones which I could use. But again, uh, resistance, so wind, dark, and light. So that's uh, as far as talents. And then um, on enhance, actually let's, let's click to see, insufficient materials, own zero. It requires 250 for the first click. It's not clear at this point where you get those things, um, but I will do more videos or articles on, on uh, various topics as we go forward. So then on enhance is the equipment stuff. So um, regular log logic, I guess. You just upgrade them. And um, I don't... Maybe there is some bug, but it seems to be doing the job. And um, yeah, no, no, no change here really. Then let's check the um, socket and refine. Same. So that's uh, that's no no change to that. So it's a sort of a Udemon system merged with a knighthood system, merged with a merger system type of a thing and uh, let's see for the void emissary I'd need um, a sacred knight let's check that I have a second one no I only have one um, so I can't do that right now I'd have to let's let's uh, run over to 
to this guy and see if we can summon one. I don't know if I have the materials, but hopefully I have. Summon? No, I don't have any summoning shards. So this guy is stuck. Um, I'll probably then have to run a bunch of um, you demon patrols to get them. Uh, I, I don't really do that on this account, so um, we won't. So I won't be able to show that specific merger, but that's no problem really because the logic is the same. So um, you merge two, and uh, on the ones we merge two, if we go back to um, the U demon, you see that uh, it's gone. So I don't have that level 12 Sanctuary Hunter anymore, and um, I don't have the level 10 Scourge Mage anymore. So you, you physically lose the U demons. Uh, the two that you merge, uh, you lose them and they appear as one Angel of Light uh, or Void Emissary in your willpower window. Um, and uh, like I said, the equipment gets the best, he gets the best equipment, um, he gets the skills merged. Uh, then what was a bit weird is about uh, his um, res reduction and um, will willpower emblem, but that was not super clear on how that's calculated but yeah it's not like we we cannot not do it but we have to be careful because if we straight away merge if you only have one level 10 uh let's say it's your main u demon if you merge it you will lose that one and then you might have a problem in in patrol uh, for example or in other cases where that u demon is useful so if i look at the patrol list for example here He's not in the list, so he cannot help at all in, in Udemon Patrol. And I think that's a big uh, important point, because you lose two level 10s, uh, which, which make your life so much easier in Patrol. And once you lose them, uh, you, you might have a problem with Patrol. So you're going to have to be careful with that. Uh, so don't rush in uh, merging. Um, uh, because you might damage yourself uh, for patrol. So I think I clicked all the buttons here. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please see other patch point seven videos that I posted um, and articles on Dolly Games Wartune. Um, I hope you guys have bookmarked uh, my blog at wartune.dollygames.com. Uh, so, um, and if you enjoyed this video, please do click on like and subscribe and share with friends. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching and have a very nice day.